What's up, Fizz Oaks? It's your bizoy Bob Hollywood, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Fortnite figure. This is the fourth Fortnite figure I've reviewed um, over the last few days. Um, this figure is Bandolier, as you can see. Um, back of his box says, Bandolier, no shirt, no surrender. I'm assuming, as the case with everyone else I've looked up, Technique Raptor Drift, so forth, that this is just the skin. There's no actual character background behind that, which is fine. That just allows my imagination to do what it does. So there's a figure of Bandolier. He's going to come with at least two accessories, one being this weapon and the other one being this uh, building material. Um, if anything comes off of him, as is the case with uh, Technique and Drift, those will be considered accessories too, but I won't know that until I open it. This was made by... Um, Jazzwares, licensed from Epic Games, who made Fortnite, and this is for ages 8 plus because of the smaller pieces. Um, like their hands and stuff could potentially come off. So I'm going to open this up. That's all the noise you're going to get out of me. I'm going to put that off to the side, take out his accessories. Now, um, as I've covered in other videos, I uh, bought. All of the Fortnite figures that I bought, um, some of which have not been reviewed, I bought them at two different Walmarts. Uh, he was. This is actually one of the first ones I bought, along with it was him, uh, Carbide, and Technique. I bought them first, and then I was like, oh, I really want Raptor, so I went to another Walmart and was able to procure Raptor. I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Will it cooperate? Give me a second. Let me tighten this tripod. Ugh. I'll probably cut that out. There you go. So, yeah, this uh, bandolier, which is where he gets his name from, can come off. So he has three accessories. He looks pretty cool. Let's look at the accessories. We get his uh, building piece. And then back there. Does not want to focus today. This is building piece. Just like the other pieces, it can connect to those pieces as well. Um, it has a peg for his foot or whoever's foot happens to be standing on it at that moment. Um, his bandolier, which I just took off. Basic, but it can go on other figures, thankfully. And here's his weapon. It's a looks like a baby shark do 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 on a um spear and yeah it's it's probably uses a bludgeoning weapon or a uh if it's sharpened game I don't know I've never played Fortnite likely never will so there's his weapon and I just said baby shark do 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 like I that song my kids love that song, man. That song, yeah, it's 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 catchy, I guess. So, um, here is Bandolier. As you can see, he's got like some sort of camo pants on and black boots, really um defined shin guards. They look like they're taped to his pants and not a part of his um boots or anything. Boots have steel toes, or at least the toes are silver. He is topless as the back of the box alluded to as you could see when he was in his packaging and it looks like he has like some sort of tattoo that goes all over his chest back shoulders and arms he has a green bandana on his right forearm well, excuse me his right bicep also a green bandana on his head he's got braided a braided mohawk gold sunglasses and beard very clearly he is african-american or at the very least of african descent if he's not american and he looks pretty cool he's got a glove over here, fingerless glove, and then he's got like a gauntlet on his right arm. Pretty cool detail, like a little, he's got two belts on, like one looks like it's part of his pants, and the other one just looks like it's there because he likes to rock accessories. A little pouch on his um, right thigh. Really good detail, like everything that's attached to him is tied to him. Like this pouch, you can see like there's... These black straps that's meant to be the pouches straps, <clears throat> even though the black straps are sculpted to his leg and the pouch is a separate piece. You can see the tape or whatever that's keeping his shin guards in place. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. I like it. Let's go over his articulation. You already saw me playing around with his arms. Um, his head started there, I believe. 
it's going to go down not at all. As I mentioned, I believe in the uh, in the Raptor video, their heads don't go down very far from where it starts. They go up that much, or his does. Rotates 360 degrees at the base or at the at the neck. Arms is going to give you that much, so slightly better than a full crucifixion. Rotate 360 degrees at the shoulders for both arms. So far, no stiffness. His elbows, not 90 degrees. That seems to be the case. They go that far. And they rotate 360 degrees at the same elbow. And uh, his wrist. His right wrist is a little bit stiff. I don't want to mess with it. Left, right, left wrist is much looser. Both wrists rotate 360 degrees at that wrist. I'm sorry This is if it's cloudy. I don't know what the camera's doing. Uh, waist articulation. He's got his, uh, ab, his uh, middle of his stomach bends. Doesn't Won't give you a full 360 degrees motion. And then uh, below his waist and above his hips rotates 360 degrees. So standard two points of articulation on the torso. Um, his legs which I'm continually impressed by these Fortnite figures. His legs give you a complete split. He has a nasty hoe certified. And uh, his legs are also going to rotate 360 degrees at the thigh. And his legs are going to go up that high. Back, not far at all. Double jointed knees. So he could have a seat. Sit on a motorcycle, dirt bike, ATV, in a car. Double jointed knees, as I said before. Yeah, I like this guy. Ankles. They're going to give you this up and down. And then they're going to rotate like that. I'm going to be honest with you, out of the four that I have opened so far, this is my third favorite. The first being Technique, second being Raptor, and now this guy, Bandolier. Not that anything's wrong with Drift, it's just that I like this guy. Well, anyway, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, I didn't do his height. I'm sorry. I didn't compare him to anybody. I'm wilding. So there's his height, exactly four inches. I'm going to compare him to Drift and Technique because they're the most readily available. He's taller than Technique, shorter than Drift. So far, Drift has been the tallest Fortnite figure for me. Um, I think that's going to change eventually. But anyway, guys, he's saying bye. See you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Let all your homies know where they can find me, B.O.B., and that's right here at Bob's Hollywood. Have a good one.